Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Das Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We're talking Derek White, y'all. And I gotta tell you, man, I really didn't want to make this video, man, because I last thing I feel like doing is going toe to toe with super Derek White fans in the comments. But a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. <laughs> But for real though, all jokes aside, why do we give Derek White a pass when he's not playing up to par? Our fans always are inconsistent with the criticism, man. We are so inconsistent. Like we would kill Lonnie or Forbes, but if Derek White is shooting 28% from three, you barely hear anything. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. And I'm not saying that he doesn't get criticized at all, but you never hear as much pushback as you hear against Murray or you hear against Lonnie or you hear against Forbes when they have bad games, man. It's like for some reason, we are just hesitant to criticize Derek White, although he hasn't been playing up to his potential for years. It's just so confusing to me. I'm more confused than Jeremy Lin. You know, it's the thing. It's, uh, you know, I, I, I don't, it's, you know, the, I don't know, man. If I'm being honest, a lot of this isn't Derek White's fault. So I'm not bashing Derek White. I don't even think he deserves to get bashed. It's his fan base that have been hyping him up for years as a future all-star. He's so much better than Murray. He's so much better than Lonnie. He's so much better than anyone else on the team. The Rosen is holding him back. I've heard all these things, and that's just simply not the case. He's a good player, but he's not that much better than Murray. He's not that much better than Lonnie. Really, the tables had turned, in my opinion. Murray is better. Lonnie's starting to look a little bit better. So, I mean, it's so many aspects to this, you know, issue in the fandom. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel and also don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell thank you so much for the continued support okay and this is a video you know mainly about the fans and not so much about d white himself but i do want to address that he is struggling a little bit these days you know he's averaging the 12 points per game um he's averaging 28 percent from the um, three-point line which is bananas he is averaging six assists which is kind of high for him believe it or not he's usually around four or five so I do give him that but man you know he's nowhere near what people have been promoting him as being you know especially if you think about the run he had in the bubble he hasn't touched that type of production yet but if we're being honest he's never had that success in the nba like that consistently consistent co success he hasn't had that and that's a fact guys just to give you a concrete example of where i'm going with this lonnie walker last season averaged 11 points per game okay that is the exact amount of points that Derek white averaged the last time he played most of the season you get what i'm saying like their numbers are almost mirroring each other. Um, Derek White had a few more assists. Of course, he had more blocks, more steals. But when you think about field goal percentage, when you think about three-point percentage, when you think about points per game, you think about rebounding, Lonnie was right there with him. But Lonnie has this, you know, reputation for being inconsistent, has this reputation of not living up to his potential, has this reputation for not being good enough. Yet Derek White doesn't have that reputation. And that is what he averaged the last time he played most of the season. Now, last season, Derek White did average 15 points per game, but that was only in 36 games. I don't think that's really relevant. You know, Derek White is a good offensive player. He has these spurts where he does look like an all-star. These spurts where he does play well. He had that great playoff run three or four years ago. And then, you know, he did play well in the bubble and whatnot before he had some knickknack injuries. But he's never, never consistently for a season played at a high level. You get what I'm saying? That's just the facts. But we as a fandom don't treat him that way. We give him too much credit, in my opinion. 
So when I hear things like Murray is inconsistent, Forbes is inconsistent, Lonnie is inconsistent, you need to throw White's name in there as well. White is an older player on the team. He has the most experience. He should be in more of a leadership role. You know, people get um, upset with Murray for taking so many shots. But how many times have we seen Derek White this season alone pass up on shot after shot? behave as if he doesn't want to shoot the basketball i don't know if he's worried about efficiency i don't know if he shifted his game to where he wants to be a pass first player but he is not playing aggressively and that should be critiqued to a certain degree this isn't the bash Derek white i hope Derek white um bounces back i hope he has a good season because we need we need him we need him okay I'm not pitting Murray versus White against each other. I'm not doing that. At least I'm not trying to. But at the same time, our fan base is very inconsistent on how we deal out criticism. We do not like criticizing Derek White, nor do we like people to criticize Derek White. I had a video on the channel not too long ago, maybe a week, week and a half ago, where I was giving Murray props on his leadership skills. And I gave Derek White his roses in that video, said that he was playing well in the preseason, saying everything was he was looking good, looking healthy. And I still had fans of his attack me saying, hey, I should have made the video about Murray and White and not title it just about Murray. So it's just like the fan base, that sector of the fan base is just so sensitive. And I'm sure they're going to be triggered by this video, too. But I'm just going to call a spade a spade. You know, if, you know, if Lonnie Walker was shooting 28% from the field, averaging 12 points, people would be looking to trade him. They'll be looking to trade him. But, you know, with Derek White, you barely hear anything. And I'm not saying Lonnie has surpassed Derek completely because clearly Derek has been on defensively. You know, his blocks, his, um, um, taking charges all that stuff like that but on our team the way it's constructed now no DeRozan we need him to be more of a scorer and we definitely need him to shoot the basketball better you know looking at the stats I, I promise you I would have bet the farm that Murray was shooting a poor percentage from the three-point line like Murray isn't shooting great from the three-point line either you know he's only shooting like 32 percent but I was shocked to see that he was shooting a better percentage than Derek White, who's the better scorer and the better shooter. So, you know, when you see things like that, those are red flags of what's going on and that things have to be fixed. At the end of the day, I hope Derek White gets it together, gets out of this slump, and I hope Murray starts shooting the ball better. I hope we start finishing games better because we need both of them to play well. I think Murray's averaging around, what, 17, 9, and 9? That's darn good. If we can get White averaging around 17 as well, the Spurs will start winning some of these close games. I'm I'm sure of it. So, again, I'm not bashing Derek White. I'm not, um, you know, trying to cause division. But I'm just pointing out some inconsistencies, man. That's all I'm doing with this video. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Let me know in the comment section how you felt about this video. I'm sure I'm going to hear about it. (laughs) Check out some of the other videos on the channel. And thanks again for the continued support. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.